Louisiana Beer Reviews, St. Arnold Sailing Santa 2012 edition, as recorded at Mathern's Grocery Store, Laplace, Louisiana. They have this beer right now for $5.49 a bottle. <coughs> Yesterday afternoon and evening, I drank a 2011 bottle that I had bought. It was a year old. I didn't want to do a video review because I thought it would be unfair for that beer being a year old, but I was surprised. It was very good. It still had a lot of hoppiness to it. Um, it was a real strong hop oil uh, taste. I don't know if that was because of the age. So I'll be, I'll be curious to see how it compares to the, a fresh bottle. And I had it in the same glass here, and the, the head was pretty um, thin. So let's see if it, the, the 12 looks similar to the 11 and tastes and smells the same. Wow, lots of uh, lots of charge on that. A lot of smoke. Now the, the 11 bottle didn't have any smoke that I could detect. Interestingly, this is a hybrid beer. It's a mixture of the St. Arnold Elissa and the St. Arnold uh, Christmas Ale. Plus, they add a little bit of cinnamon to it. They said. And the beer has been out since the 2011 Christmas season. Same thing, a thin cream colored head. And well now this is a lot clearer, a clear copper appearance with lots of bubbles. And uh, the 11 was very murky, okay? It was more orange and it you couldn't see through it. This I can see right through it. so. It's um, mostly clear. So that's interesting. Let's see about the the aroma. It's got a fruity aroma. Um, not as pungent. not as strong of an aroma. I don't know if the aging brings out the strength. I did a written review on rape beer, okay? You can read it there. I couldn't do a written review for the 11 on Beer Advocate because they didn't differentiate between 11 and 12. They just had Sailing Santa. Talking about those, uh, talking about this beer a little bit, it's 7% it's, um, alcohol, excuse me. Uh, it gets a good rating on Beer Advocate for with only 37 reviews, a 72 out of 100 on Ray Beer, and a 40 out of 100 for the style in the 11 version, and a 66 out of 100 for the 2012 uh, edition, but with only five ratings. So there's not a whole lot out there for this, and there are no video reviews for this Sailing Santa. So this is the first video review for Sailing Santa in the world. Let's go to the taste. year old version had more like a turned fruit note. This does not have any turned fruit. It doesn't have that like syrupy, piney hop oil uh, thing going on. It really just has um, brown bread, bread crust, piney hops, Mouthfeel is medium. There's some sweetness, some sugar, maybe like brown sugar. I'm not really picking up cinnamon because they said they just put a little bit in there and you can't really pick that up, I don't find. Huh? Now when you take a breath and pick up some of that mentholated uh, hop thing that you get sometimes with an IPA, and the finish is crisp. It's really refreshing. It's only about 6.45 in the morning. I have to do these, or I like to do these in the morning for a bunch of customers coming. Uh, and it's uh, very drinkable. Really was interesting to try that year old beer. The year, the, the aging didn't really hurt it. It just made it more, um, well, it just made it different. It was oilier, pinier. You're not going to really find the 11. In fact, I'm sure right after the new year, the 12s will start being pulled. I don't know. Well, 
probably be gone. All right, so anyway, uh, how would I rate this? I think it's really delicious. It's smooth. It's um, it's got a little bit of bite to it. It's got a nice hot bitterness. I don't know what the IBU is, but I'm figuring around 50. It's um, be, it is early in the morning. It would be a very good breakfast beer. I think it would be a good uh, mid morning snack beer, a little bit lunch beer, uh, afternoon snack beer, and possibly a evening supper beer or a nightcap beer also. So. Um, I would highly recommend that you check it out. I'm going to give it an A. Um, let, let me give it one more. Second. Yeah, I'm going to give it an A. A most excellent rating. I think it's a solid A. It's a really most excellent beer. It's really wonderful. And I love St. Arnold beers. Some are tremendous. Some are really good. And some are kind of ordinary. But anyway, St. Arnold does a good job. So, they say Le Bon Temps Roulet. Hello, sir. Would you like to join me in the review? <laughs> Got a uh, hanger on you. Anyway, Les Les Bon Temps Roulet. This is a most excellent beer. And I'll be in this review by saying, y'all come on down to my thirds and buy some beer. And now, I'm going to show you some beer. Let's look at their selection because it is fantastic. I need to try all these rogue beers and then I need to try the pike we've got some lambics shiner Coney Island human blockhead which I'm planning to try we got your Samuel Adams specialty uh oh delirium Noel Viking blood clown shoes eagle claw fist haven't tried it yet art of darkness stone Cali Belgique, Moby D, Banana Bread Beer, tried it. Vahen Stefana, tried it. Crispin Heaven. Vahen Stefana, Hefeweiss Beer, tried that. Reutberger, beautiful beer. Sean Rahmer, beautiful. Hopfhelweiss Beer, wonderful. Haven't tried the Imperial from Italy. Coney Island Lager, haven't tried it. Arrogant Bastard, of course. Hebrew, Pomegranate, Merry Mischief. Joy a uh, 2012. Look for that review coming up. Andy Gator. Who wouldn't like Andy Gator? Abby Ale from Abita. St. Pauli Girl. Here we've got a St. Arnold rack. Lazy Magnolia rack. And everybody doesn't. Oh, yeah, there we've got our Shiner display. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I need some Fosters. A Vita. Now, everybody doesn't want to go for gourmet beer. Sometimes people are looking for a bargain. Well, I'm going to show you a bargain right here. Paps Blue Ribbon, 18 pack for $10.49. That's $3.50 a six pack, y'all. $3.50 a six pack. Check this out Ice House, $7.19 a 12 pack. Maybe that's why I bought five 12 packs. <laughs> Uh, and this, I was stunned by what I'm about to show you. Uh, there's the beer that made Milwaukee famous. <clears throat> I was saying, why is this beer empty? Why is this empty? And then I noticed, $3.99, a six-pack for Coors Banquet? Pints, 16-ounce pints, $3.99. No wonder it's sold out. When they get here this morning, they're going to restock this, and I can't wait to buy it. So, uh, then you got your bottle Coors. Uh, so $3.99 a six-pack for cores can't beat that, especially when you're getting pints. So anyway, uh, if you're in the River Parishes and you want to find the best selection in beer between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, come to Matherns and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, well, talk to y'all later.